editing using DaVinci Resolve is not that easy. Uh, iMovie is super easy. Um, I I basically wanted to use the dash dash cam footage that I put in my car, and that thing saves file uh, files in AVI format and. Uh, this is like the second time I'm using the DaVinci Resolve. First time I used it with the 360 camera GoPro Fusion. Um, did not have any problems with it because it's GoPro and I think believe they have the plugin support for that. Anyway, so this dash cam uses AV file. I was not able to rec load the files to do editing in the software. So apparently there's an issue with the AVI files and the Vinci Resolve that doesn't recognize the format. So you have to first find a way to convert the AVI into um, some recognizable format, like um, what you call um, a movie, movie file, like a Max file that's more standard. I did that and then I ran into, I mean, it uh, converted and I believe I used the H.265 codec and it did not recognize that. Then I used the H.264, it recognized it, but did not have any audio. So then I had to use MPEG uh, to audio um, AAC codec and then the audio worked too. Um, so anyway, uh, after converting the files, then editing, then adding some text um, and then processing it. The whole thing is difficult as far as, uh, you know, takes the fun out of it, uh, making movies. Um, so there has to be an easy way of doing it. But of course it has a lot more controls and like simple text layout, like is harder. Well, I mean, I, I did it, but it's just not uh, like uh, uh, easiest to use. So you, you it will take some practice to make it better so anyway uh, uploading that dash cam video now I'm gonna try the different dash cam because this dash cam is not really um, I mean it's good for its time I mean it's the old dash cam it's new for me as far as setting it up but I bought it like several years back I don't even remember four or five years maybe more uh, but it's a clip-on dash cam that goes on your rear view mirror and has dual cam hanging down there one for inside the cabin and one for uh, uh, in front of the car. So you basically get front and back view. And in case of an accident, you can um, have your evidence if somebody did hit and run or something like that, or tries to say that something else than what happened. So you have that footage. So yeah, I really like dash cams. I've been using dash cam for a while. Unfortunately, on my last accident, I did not have it, but that wouldn't have helped me because it was my fault. Uh, uh, because I didn't look. Um, so anyway, the point is if you, if, if you, do, you know, if you make your mistake, that's fine. It's your evidence. So if you make a mistake, um, then, uh, you know, you don't need that. But if you do, did not make a mistake and somebody falsely accuses you of doing something that you didn't do, now you have a video footage of that, that you can use. So it's very important. So I, um, you know, call it like a black box, okay? Like the in an airplane, when everything ends, they're still recording, so they can review it and find out what actually caused the crash. That's another thing with the dash cam. Like if you did have a severe accident, and let's say you know you're in hospital, at least they can find the what happened and whose fault it is by looking at the camera footage afterwards. Okay. So that's the re reason why you need a dash scan.